Hello and welcome back to the Rect Capital channel and welcome to today's video update. We're going to be focusing mostly on the exponential rallies that we've seen in the altcoin market because as you can see here, Bitcoin, even though it kind of faked out towards the upside yesterday, it's still very much in the same position as it was yesterday and the day before that. So it's been consolidating. This essentially just fuels the fact that we are in this hype cycle and we're still very much enjoying it when it comes to altcoins. But we have to also bear in mind that we might see a flick up from the bottom of this macro black triangle over here. And if we see a flick up, we'll probably see a return to this red zone over here for a rejection in that Bitcoin dominance. So if we see an increase in Bitcoin dominance like this, we're going to see market capital flowing away from altcoins and into Bitcoin most likely. But we aren't moving up quite yet. This movement over here, this sort of consolidation at the lows of this triangle is very conducive to altcoins because Bitcoin market dominance isn't increasing, which means that there is still a lot of room for risk taking. So we're seeing a lot of FOMO and this is one of the coins I covered yesterday. As you guys remember the flag from yesterday, it's a very small blip on this chart given what's happened since a fantastic phenomenal rally, 110% towards the upside from this flag breakout. I've been covering this on Twitter but I've also spoken to you guys about this yesterday. It's just great to see such rallies these are the sort of coins that can really make your portfolio. Even if you have a small position size, whatever the case may be, this is where you're just going to have your portfolio grow out of proportion and it's the time to do it. It certainly is the time where we're seeing a lot of hype in altcoins. We're seeing a lot of these exponential rallies towards the upside. And even if you have, let's say, let's say for example, you have a 60-40 Bitcoin to altcoin split. Let's even say 60, 20 for fiat and 20 for altcoins. When you see these sort of FOMO rallies and you happen to be in one of these rallies and of course at these highs you have to be taking profits, protect your profits at all times, always do that because we're probably going to see a retrace to much lower levels from here. So that's definitely something to bear in mind. But even if you have a 60-20-20 split, so 20% altcoins in your crypto portfolio, your crypto portfolio, the altcoin part at least, is going to grow during hype cycles and during these sort of FOMO rallies, that 20% can quickly turn into something much greater in such a way that you might actually have an overexposed portfolio to altcoins. It could be the fact that this altcoin portion of your portfolio is actually growing so much in size that you have a very imbalanced portfolio, which is why you need to first be taking profits because taking profits is also managing your risk accordingly, also balancing out your portfolio and potentially also meaning to circulate these profits into another portion of your portfolio, whether that's fiat or Bitcoin, that's entirely up to you. But in any case, you need to have these sort of mechanisms in your portfolio, your profit circulation mechanism, your profit taking strategy, all of these things really do tie into one holistic risk management approach and also profit management approach as well. And this is the sort of stuff that I talk about in my risk management course, which is now available for a giveaway, which is sponsored by eToro. So definitely check out the instructions here on the screen. But for now, this is just for US citizens. So feel free to make the most of it. Only five giveaways of this risk management course where I talk about profit diversification. I talk about risk management and how to structure your portfolio, how to profit circulate, how to manage your profits, how to deduce a profit taking strategy and so much more. So very excited to be giving this away and I want to thank eToro for making this possible. But let's talk about altcoins in a bit more detail. I just can't get enough of this recent rally in Chromia. This was just fantastic. But in any case, this is just an update on chills on CHZ from yesterday. We have this pennant, we have this consolidation. And as you guys know, I'm just trading this as a swing trade so I'm going to be patient because even though we had a fake out past this level it's returned already it's already confirmed a return back into the structure so we're still in this continuation pattern right over here and as long as we continue to consolidate a breakout could be very much on the horizon which only ties in with my swing trading strategy to just target that red diagonal resistance from yesterday in yesterday's video so I'm just waiting for a breakout here being patient 
nothing more to it. CTSI since yesterday has moved 6%. But above all else, I want to see confirmation above this blue diagonal because we've seen that confirmation really is needed, especially if you see a lot of FOMA wicking and failed retest attempts post breakout. So great to see the 6% rally, but I really want to see confirmation so that we can move even higher than that. Moving forward, moving on. This is a coin I shared in my private journal yesterday and 24 hours later, we saw a 30% rally. Of course, we have to stress the fact that this was front run, right? It didn't rebound from the higher low, the base of this structure. This was a rally that was front run, after which we saw a 30% breakout towards the highs and pulling back into this blue diagonal would be great for Digibyte just to confirm a new trend or at least resume its uptrend because in April it's made fantastic gains. But ever since then, it was just trapped in this consolidation structure, in this continuation structure. So this could very well be the consolidation that was needed just to garner a bit more buy interest into Digibyte. And now Digibyte is trying to showcase some initial signs of beginning or at least resuming its uptrend. So fantastic to see Digibyte over here performing well. Let's move on to the next coin, Kyber Network, another fantastic rally, Chromia, Kyber Network, these are the coins I've been covering in my private journal and it's just fantastic to see that with a bit of patience and strategic positioning and then just forgetting about the coin can lead to exponential run-ups. 110% in Chromia, 93% in Kyber Network. Timing and strategic positioning is a vital, crucial part of technical analysis, but probably the most important thing is the intangible aspects of trading. Being comfortable to hold, being confident to hold, understanding that volatility is part of the game, understanding that volatility happens every day and that we see pullbacks, dips, uptrends, sideways. You have to be confident in this sort of volatility just to hold and be patient because understanding that your targets are quite likely because you've put in the work to learn that technical analysis, you've put in the effort to just hone that instinct if you put in all those hours into training that instinct, then understanding that just waiting for that target to be hit is just a very important part of the game. Patience pays. And that's the thing that I want to mention. It's phenomenal to see this. Such strong rallies. And with Kyber Network, much like with CHR, I'd like to see some pullback action. It's very important that we get a weekly close like this. It's very important that we get a weekly close like this and it's very likely that we will, but a pullback from here wouldn't be such a bad idea and it should be expected sooner rather than later. But it's fantastic to see that these are the sort of rallies that we're tracking together. And here's another coin that I just looked at before the video and I'm seeing a consolidation structure, a continuation structure for a few days now and we've seen a lot of FOMO wicks pass this resistance so this could very well end up as a FOMO wick but at the moment I just want to see a daily candle close above here because a four hour candle close might not just cut it given its characteristics in the price but if a daily candle close happens then this could very much be the beginning of a new trend very much like Digipy it won't be the beginning of a new trend but rather the continuation of the uptrend so excited about this one as well as long as things continue to pan out the way they have so with Bitcoin dominance just consolidating at that base because if we see a rebound from Bitcoin dominance anytime soon and it could come at any time to be honest with you guys then we'll probably see these market structures deviate from their trends so it's very important to just bear that in mind that the risk is mounting with each passing day and the fact that we've only got a couple weeks left until the hype cycle really concludes it is really all about timing really understanding that time is kind of against us in this hype cycle but we also have to bear in mind that this hype cycle is just a small wave in a large altcoin market super cycle something i'll be talking to you guys about in the coming weeks but in any case tomo chain is one we covered yesterday here on the channel breakout from the ascending triangle a daily candle close something we were looking for it's great to see that this has been a confirmed rally at least in one 
portion of that confirmation because we've seen a 10% rally towards the upside, a pullback into this level to test it as a support and then rally towards the upside just to follow through on that orange trajectory. That's going to be a testament that Tomo Chain has began a new macro trend, a new uptrend after weeks of consolidating in this ascending triangle. Fantastic news, fantastic to see this. Speaking of ascending triangles, and this is going to be the last altcoin that I look at for you guys today. Small ascending triangle, also consolidation for a few weeks. I covered this in late May, so we've seen this consolidation really drag out. But ever since then, a 13% rally into a very strong supply zone. That is the red box over here. And if this red box can be turned into a support, we'll see further upside later on. So that upside would be quite attractive. It could be anything from this to this, whatever the case may be. I just like to see continuation from this point to just turn this red area into a green area, a supply zone into a new demand zone. And as long as I can do that, we'll see further trend continuation. But at the moment, this is a point of rejection. But we've seen rejection time and again, and waves isn't letting up. So I'm just looking at that last additional piece of strength, that bit of strength that is needed to just turn this level into a new demand zone so that I can springboard to higher price levels. But in any case, guys, that's about it for today's altcoin market analysis. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Please consider dropping a like. And of course, feel free to make the most of this giveaway of the risk management course. It's a fantastic offer made possible by eToro. So make the most of that. And lastly, feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more videos like this in the future. I'm Rex Capital and I'll speak to you in the next video. Speak to you soon.